Hi folks, um, just a quick update. Um, I've obviously been using my the Max 350 that I reviewed the last time. I'm no longer using the petrol. I took it out of my cabin altogether. Um, obviously I'm still in the wee sailfish, so it's quite a small boat. So the motor in the, the cabin takes up half half of a berth, or half that side. Um, I have received the LE Joy 400 watt step up solar controller charger. So that was one I'd mentioned before. Um, basically, it's step up. So my current solar panel is a 100 watt Renology um, off Amazon. Again, I'll throw the links to all these down below. Uh, the the what do you call it? The it needs a step up charger because the the voltage for one solar panel is about what 15 to 20 volts, um, whereas the batteries need 50 plus volts to charge. So obviously we need to step that up. So that's what that controller does. It's up to 400 watt, and um, so a bit of space for improvement. It can parallel more panels so it can probably get an R3 or 4 uh, maybe even 5 but you can sort of go above the, the rating especially if it's going to be overcast and things um, it should potentially then cut off and only ever charge at maximum 400 watts so the, the thing should you can't overload it hopefully um, you know I guess that, that goes to the point that you know solar panels you think well you need you need constant sunlight well they kind of work in overcast days or where the sun's kind of breaking through it does reduce the amperage so you kind of need to boost up your panel load if you think if you think you need it and um, again the weather report here for the next few days whenever i started this test was typical northern ireland weather so uh, it was rainy uh, with some sun um, so basically what happened how i started this was i went out on saturday so did my normal motor out into the bay at Kinniko, uh, Loch Ney. Um, I put up my sails, went out sailing, uh, didn't do great in the race, um, but I came back in again, took my sails down, motored back in to the, to the berth, uh, just the same as I do every Wednesday and Saturday. Um, so in that I used about 20%, 27%, I think it was about 82 or 85 or something, I went down to 58. Uh, so the test is then uh, to wire up the solar charger to the solar panel and then hook that into the BMS so the, the charging port of the, the battery so that kind of protects the the battery as well because the BMS will cut off if there's over voltage or anything like that there so it gives you a double protection um, so how did it go? yep just watch okay so I've it all wired up as you can see uh, that leads going to the BMS and my battery here so I have it in the shed uh, as you see that's a big long lead let's go out to my solar panel so what I am going to do is um, I think it's sitting about 50, 56% or something like that there so if I get if I get this out so if you turn it on 56% uh, 48.2 uh, volts so what I want to do is charge it up to 80% so what I'm going to uh, do is set the controller to 51.5 volts um, which I'll do now so the connections are a wee bit loose there so if we set it here so we set the voltage 50, well, at a very high so that was actually wrong I'll, I'll put a wee link to the chart what the voltage should be ok so there we are so we have 51.5 volts and it's currently charging half an amp. Um, as I say, it's not very sunny, leave it overcast. Uh, but yeah, the panels seem to be generating anyway. It's a Renology 100 watt. Um, again, you'd expect max the max power to be about what if 17 volt. Uh, I suppose about four or five amp. Uh, but yeah, we're getting the outputs half an amp. Um, so if we sort of think 50 amp hour battery, it would technically take 100 hours um, at this rate. But what I'll do is I'll leave it sitting running and we'll come back and check later. Um, and I'll take, see, see what we're up to voltage wise. So a nice sunny morning. So just going to see. Yep, still that fast. Okay, so yeah, we're doing pretty good. Um, three, three point three amps. 
um, batteries up to 49.6 uh, with one amp going into it so um, again it's been sunny all morning so we're only at 10 o'clock now so just goes to show um, during the summer obviously we've longer days so you can get quite a bit of sun um, again it's not direct sunlight so I think you could probably get a bit more power out of it as well I'll do a calculation and see what that actually is uh, again the challenge is to get it to 80% so 51.5 uh, so we do Well, I checked that, must not have OK. So if we do 51. Yeah, that's it set now. Um, so that should be the output. So that's 80%, which is safe limit for lithium ion. But yeah, we're getting a bit namping. So if you were totally empty, it's a 40 amp hour battery so you'd be talking 40 hours which is probably about four days um, but I don't really use all the battery I only use 10% 10 or 20% getting in and out so that's basically the challenge for me is basically to see if I can replenish that there over a couple of days and it's given rain and stuff this week so <clears throat> it'll be interesting to see so we're getting quite a bit of sun today uh, although there has been a couple of showers as you can see from the water on the solar panel so we're going to the shave. Let's see where we're at. Oh. And we are at target. So we're at 51.5. So you, as you can see, even though it's sunny, uh, it's not actually pulling a lot of power from it. So it's just ticking over now at the minute. So that's basically shut off. So if I actually go up to 52 and hit OK, boom. There we go. 5 amps, awesome, so yeah, so we're getting uh, 1.66 uh, amps into the actual battery, um, which isn't too bad, um, the charger I have, the normal plug-in one's only 4 amp, um, so a couple of pounds wouldn't, you wouldn't be far off, but yep, yeah, so I think what it does is it keeps tapering down because obviously the, the high amperage pushes the voltage up but then whenever you start taking the, the amperage down uh, it starts tapering off a bit so I think that's what it, it does but no, it seems to all work great. So as you see that worked quite well for me. Um, will it work Will it work for everybody else? Um, probably not. Um, you know as I say my, my use case is going out on a Saturday and a Wednesday so there's a few days in between. Um, and even then I don't use that much so if I wanted to go for a sale some of the other days I would have a bit of battery left over. Um, I've actually ordered a 300 watt uh, folding panel uh, from AliExpress as well so um, the hope there is that'll triple triple the, the time so basically th that experiment I started charging Saturday afternoon and it was finished Tuesday morning so you know if you tr you could pro possibly get it replenished in a day which would be ideal. Um, but again if you've got a big boat or you need a lot of batteries you're going to need a lot more power now you can obviously scale this up so this is one 400 watt controller with 100 watt panel and um, so potentially I could have up to four or five hundred watts going into that just to cover for dollar days Um, you could then also have multiple controllers and um, sort of feeding into different battery banks so like I'm buying another battery you could potentially have one controller charging each one Um. Again, I'll hopefully come back whenever I get the solar panels. They're from China, so it'll probably be a month. Um, I'm actually taking the sailfish out next week. So I'll be putting in a Jaguar 21, which is a good bit heavier. Uh, it has a well, so the outboard goes into a well rather than hung off the back. So it'll be interesting to see if it fits, first of all. And secondly, is it over a ton? So how that weight then sort of pushes the max 350. Um, but again, I'll be putting wearing this in there i think i'll be, you know the solar panels and all the rest so i, I think this setup's pretty good and uh, just hopefully the motor works so if you like what you're seeing and uh, thanks for watching subscribe to get notifications because there will be more tests and reviews coming up okay bye